is Andreas Nicolao, I'm a third year medical student at the University of Nicosia. Uh, can I please confirm your full name date of birth? Of course, my name is Ahmed Azigit. I was born 27th of October 1981. Is it okay if I call you Ahmed? Sure. Fine. So today I was asked uh, by my supervisor to perform a lower limb neurological examination. Mm -hmm. So for this exam, uh, you will need to be exposed from your shorts down if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm gonna be looking, feeling, and moving around your uh, legs and feet. How does that sound? It sounds okay. Okay, so since I'm a medical student, my supervisor may need to repeat this examination uh, after me. Uh, if you refuse to have this examination, or if you want to stop at any point, uh, it will not affect the quality of your care. Right. Um, would you like a sharp time for this exam? No, I'm okay. okay. Uh, do you have your consent to proceed? Of course. Okay, are you in any pain at the moment? Not at all. Okay, good. So, uh, upon general inspection, I don't see any uh, working aids, any wheelchairs, any zimmer frames, any medication. Patient looks well, not in distress or obvious discomfort. And now I'm going to inspect your legs. So, looking at the patient's legs, okay. I don't see any scars, uh, any muscle wasting, any involuntary movements, any fasciculations, or any drainage. Now, the uh, patient is sitting freely without supporting on their hands, so there is no tranquil ataxia. So, now can I ask you uh, to stand up without uh, using your hands? Okay, so. Patient is freely standing, stable, and what I will ask you to uh, do now is have a walk across the room and turn back. So there's no untouched gate, the gate is symmetric, there's no high stepping gate, no scissoring or shuffling gate, for example. And now I would like you to walk on your tiptoes. Thank you. And walk back on your heels. Good. And now I'd like you to walk heel to toe. Thank you so much. Give me a little on the bed. Okay. So. Now, I'm going to assist, uh, assist your tongue. Okay, so what I would like to do is just let your legs go floppy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, bend your knee a bit, like that. And suddenly pushing. Okay, so there's no hypo or hypertonia, there's no uh, flaccidity or rigidity. Now I'm going to assess the power of your legs. Okay, so what I would like you to do is lift up your leg, hold the back a bit like that, and resist my movements. Okay, so Keep it there, don't let me push down. Good. Now press against my hand. Nice. Then the left, don't let me push down. And press against. Good. Now the knee. So don't let me push you in. Good. Don't let me straighten your leg. Now the left, don't let me push you in. Don't let me straighten Thank you. And now your ankles. Okay. So what I would like you to do is uh, point your feet down. And don't let me push you up. Good. Now point your toes towards you. And don't let me push them down. Again. Thank you. Now, can you point your big toes towards you and don't let me push them down? Thank you. 
And now uh, I want you to uh, resist me from pushing your feet outwards. Thank you. Now don't let me push them inwards. And the same for the left. Don't let me push it out. Don't let me push it in. Thank you so much. So power is symmetric on both legs and uh, power appears to be five out of five. Now I'm going to test your sensation. Okay, so I'm going to use a cotton ball. Okay, first. And I'm gonna demonstrate it first on your chest. Okay. So can you feel this? Yes. Does it feel like a cotton ball? Yes, it does. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes mm -hmm. and every time uh, I touch you, okay, if you can feel the cotton ball, just tell me so. Okay. Okay. Can you feel this? Yes. 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 Thank you so much. So, did it feel the same on both sides? It was the same on both sides, yes. Okay, perfect. So, this similarity tests for the pain sensation, but it's not needed to test it now. Now I'm going to be using this chewing fork. Okay, it's the long one, 128 hertz. Okay, so first I'm going to touch it on your chest. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the buzzing? Yes, I do. Okay, so now I'll ask you to close your eyes. Okay, and tell me whenever you feel the buzzing. Okay. okay. Feel it. I feel it. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to test proprioception. Mm -hmm. It's a um, change in positioning, change in direction. So I will first demonstrate mm -hmm. that this is down and this is up. Okay. okay. So please close your eyes and tell me if it's up or down. Okay. Down. Up. Up. Good. Now the other one. Up. Down. Down. Thank you so much. So this concludes uh, our sensation testing, which appears to be intact in both legs. And now I'm going to test the coordination. Okay. So what I would like you to do is place your heel on your knee, okay, and slide your leg down, okay, in a continuous motion, okay. Thank you so much. Now we can back. Thank you so much. And now I would like you uh, to use a big toe and touch my finger. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now with your left. Thank you so much. So uh, there is good coordination in both legs. Now I'm going to test your reflexes. And for this, I'm going to use this demo Ooh, time. Looks scary. Okay. <laughs> so don't avoid worry. Uh, it's not going to be painful. Okay. So first I'm going to check uh, the reflexes of your knee. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for this, uh, I need you to be relaxed. Okay. So let your legs go flow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to test the reflexes on your Achilles. Okay. So the ankle reflex. So for this, bend the knee, slide uh, rotation externally, dorsiflex the foot, make sure that you palpate the tendon and tap. Then for the left, same, bend your knee, foot. Thank you so much. And finally, I'm going to test um, the plantar reflex, okay, on uh, the base of your foot. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So for this, I'm going to be using uh, my fingernail. Foot. Okay. So all the reflexes uh, were normal, they uh, were not ex exaggerated, so there was no hyper or hyperflexia. So, thank you so much, Ahmed. This concludes my examination. I will report my findings uh, to my supervisor. Okay, so you make it dressed, get comfortable, and uh, anything you need, we're here for you. Thank you. So, uh, for completion, I would recommend uh, an upper uh, limb neurological examination, peripheral vascular examination, and of course, cranial nerve examination. Thank you.